Hey there, I'm Tiffany with OMH Agency, and this is the millionaire worksheet that I created for you. I'm so excited about it. Um, I, you know, as you can probably tell, I'm a total spreadsheet nerd, so I hope this helps you. What I made this for, I had two goals in mind. One is that I wanted to help give you a tool that would empower you to be able to look at what it would take to reach your goals, whether you set them based on revenue or whether you say, set them based on number of transactions, and then get a flood of all the answers to questions that you need, especially from my perspective, I'm a marketer, so I want you to understand the power of marketing and lead gen. And so by you being able to set your big goals and understand how many appointments you need and you know your database and how many leads come from that and how much it costs to manage it, as well as you know referrals and things like that, you have probably heard it a hundred times. I know I have with all the research that I've been doing and the listening to books and coaches and reading, you can never have enough leads. You never can have enough leads. So it, as long as you understand that your database is the value of your business, that referrals and uh, past clients, that's your bread and butter, you still cannot starve your database. It's a living, breathing thing. And so in order to reach out and get more leads to feed into that, of course, you need systems. So how much do you spend on those systems? Well, everything starts with what are your overall goals. So even if you haven't really, I wanted to create something that was really simple. So even if you didn't have all these numbers like absolutely nailed down, you can kind of play around with them and see what kind of difference that makes in your life. So my number one goal, I wanted you to understand the ROI on marketing and lead gen and how that fits into your overall goal. So I believe that it does that in a way, like you can see, it, you know, we ask just straight up questions. So even if you hate spreadsheets, I wanted to make it just really straightforward. So you're answering questions that you can just kind of answer off the top of your head or with very little research. My second goal is that you know, I've, I've interviewed a lot of top agents and team leaders and high producers. Another thing that comes up a lot is that, um, you know, honoring your time blocks is a struggle. It can be a struggle. So if you suffer from that, like many, many pros do, I want you to just consider your time blocking, those things that you're ignoring. I know um, I'm part of a, a couple mastermind groups and I get trained on this all the time. It's like, you need to be doing what makes you money. You need to be doing what you love doing so that you're just being fed and you're driving and it shouldn't feel like this huge burden. So if you're finding that you're time blocking and you're not sticking to it, I would just like to push and say, should that really be something that you're time blocking? So number two, my number two goal being um, understand the value of your time. So if you have these revenue goals and you're doing the things that like, you're like, yeah, I can set those goals then I'm, this worksheet goes down and breaks things down like, how many appointments do you need to make that happen? You know, things like that that are just obvious. What is the lifetime value of a client? So that we can understand how much you actually make off of the money that you invest versus just one sale. So when you put money into it, you get a sale out of it. However, the lifetime value of the client is much different. And then down to the time blocking, um, you can see here, here is what the calculator uh, spit out as far as your gross revenue, number of transactions, cost to sell, total expenses, net income. And then over here, it shows like what your sales production would need to be, but also your hourly time value based on your net. So we took your net income based on your goals, and this would change based on what your goals are and what your expenses are. Um, so you'll be answering all those questions really to make it custom to you. But then if you look at this number, you can scroll down here and say, well, you know what? Every week I know that I need to post on social media and it takes me, you know, whatever, four hours a week, six hours a week. Um, you will get this, this is the only <laughs> cell that you'll get this warning. But, um, you know, if you spend four hours a week, suddenly you look and go, whoa, $4,000 a month. Um, and then also considering, you know, if you have marketing people, but they are not trained in marketing, you are going to have to spend time with them. So if you know that every month, you know, you meet with your marketing person, however many times a week or a month, you can plug this in based on, you know, the average per week and then find out how much you're spending just training that person versus like if you had a trained team 
for example, like OMH agency, where we're overseeing your strategy and then working with your team and helping train them as well as executing on things that are maybe more specialized, um, you can use this calculator and just really narrow down how much money will you save um, on doing that. So those are my two goals, understanding your time blocking, understanding your return on investment and how that fits into the overall scheme of things. So if you are doing this yourself, if you got the free worksheet, um, I just real quick, here are the instructions over on the right. If you just uh, went to this worksheet and you're like, oh, hi, here's my worksheet. Oh, I need to change all the blue numbers. Well, if you do it without going over to here and file and make a copy, you won't be able to change everything. So you want to make sure right away you go file, make a copy, and it will make a copy that will go straight to your Google, your own Google Drive. Now, if you opt to pay $150 so that we actually create it and work with you to review it, what will happen is number one, if you fill out the questionnaire more than one business day ahead of time, we will actually create this for you and have it ready for our review. If you if you go to the questionnaire and you're like, oh my gosh, I don't wanna fill this out. Like, I don't have time for this. I don't wanna think this hard. I don't know what that means. Well, then don't worry about it, skip it. We'll use our time during our meeting to go through the questionnaire with you and then fill it out. Now we have an hour and so if you do the questionnaire, obviously we'll have more time to review it. If you don't do the questionnaire, we'll have less time to review it. But just know one hour, my consultations are $150. So you are getting a lot of value for that because I want to really go through it and help you. I really feel like even if you never work with us again, I feel like this is gonna be a tool that will help you grow your business in a really actionable way. It's something that you're gonna be able to take into each part of your business planning and each part of your business operations and be able to implement what you find on this worksheet. So $150 again. Now, one thing to note is that, that it's only $150 for a limited time. So be sure to check that. Um, if you're here and you're thinking about it, jump on it because um, as I, this is something new. I'm in love with this worksheet. I'm going to be telling everybody about it. But as, um, as you know, my calendar fills up, I'm going to probably put it on pause. Um, I, I can guarantee you that the, that the 150 price is for limited time. So check, check your time timer and see how much time you have left for that deal it will go up to 250 after that. Um, and that's for as long as it's available. Again, even availability is limited. So I don't mean that like as some stupid sales ploy. I honestly just mean it like, I wanna give you one-on-one -on -one attention with this. It, it means a lot to me. I feel like it's gonna be really powerful. And um, I am super, I love real estate. I love business development. Um, this is my favorite, one of my favorite things to do because I also like interviewing um, agents for Breakaway Agents. So when I tell you that I love, that's my favorite thing, that also is my favorite thing. But um, I just, I feel very strongly that this is gonna help you and I wanna be a part of it. Um, obviously I would like to, if, if we are a good fit and, and we make sense to each other, it'd be extremely exciting to be part of your growth and where we're able to fit in those numbers and help, help you save money, help you make money and help it be a lot more fun as well. So, oh, and one more bonus. If you do purchase the review of this, um, whether it's for 150 or 250, there's an extra special bonus, which you don't see on this page, but once you click and download um, the worksheet, you're gonna find out that, I'm so excited about this, but um, again, I research um, real estate marketing, marketing in particular and business development. I was in real estate over 15 years. We ran an office, we, I helped agents um, you know, develop their businesses. And even with my marketing company, I've helped real estate agents. Um, I listen to the top coaches that generate amazing results. I've read a number of real estate, include uh, real estate books, including the millionaire real estate agent. Um, and so a lot of this is inspired from that. Um, but I'm really excited that if you purchase the review, you also get this really cool worksheet, um, our 33 touches worksheet. So if you have leads that you, you know, you have this goal, I want to make 33 touches. 
then you can actually take it again it's a spreadsheet but it's really simplified and it just has a list of you know an example based on again my um, not only what I've researched but also the conversations that I've had with top producing agents and team leaders through the blessing that call breakaway agent um, they've just given me incredible insights so I've created an example of how you can touch your your leads, your the people you've met that you're really working this list, um, how you can reach out to them 33 times. So it's not all email. It has to be a blend. It has to be you personally. It has to be you know some of it is by mail. Some of it and it breaks down like who would who could execute on it. So um, in addition to that. A couple of the things includes, um, so the, there's the worksheet. Then, of course, I had to add a couple other tabs because um, as I was developing, I'm like, well, how would people know if they've called someone, um, you know, once a quarter, whatever your goal is. And so using something that I've heard many agents tell me about, which is the A to Z uh, contact method, I also created two extra tabs on that. One has a uh, a proposed schedule on how to reach out to all of your clients by phone once a quarter, not your clients, but your the leads that you've met before. Um, the the ones that you're really, I would call them B leads, so they're, they're warm leads. Um, how you would reach out to them by phone once a quarter and, and a proposed schedule to do that. And then also the idea of having a video email that would go out to them once a quarter as, as well to leverage your time. So you could create the videos once a quarter you would create one for each one of your warm leads and then um, you would have either your assistant or your digital marketing team implement that so I'm so excited about that but that is just an added bonus that you get um, when we review this with you so like I said I would love to work with you more but even if I don't just to know that we're even a small part of it is just so exciting and it and I, this just know this is like totally put together with love so I really appreciate your feedback I look personally at my own emails um, to Tiffany at omhagency.com so please reach out to me there or on any social media platform uh, we can be found um, pretty much anywhere so Thank you so much, and I'm so excited to hear from you.